Hi, this is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com, and I wanted to share an adorable Halloween project with you today. Um, this cute little kitty is peeking out of our pumpkin box, and inside is a little Reese's uh, pumpkin. So let me just show you how to make this cute little project. We're going to start with our, um, our pumpkin, so let's see how I did, made that. I used the circle framelits and I cut a circle using the largest one um, not that smooth, not the scallop. So the largest smooth pumpkin and you want to cut out two of those and then you're going to take your Simply Scoring tool and you're going to score this about three quarters of an inch from the end. So I see my circle is about four inches so I'm going to go in three quarters and it doesn't have to be exact, you just want it to be the same on each. So you're going to score it like so, and you'll do that on the other piece as well. So let's go in here. And then you can fold on that score line for each and use a piece of sticky strip to attach them, and that makes the outside of the pumpkin. Of course, we're going to want to send that through our bossing folder first, and that's the beautifully bur uh, Baroque embossing folder that I used for that. So let's talk about the box that goes inside the pumpkin to hold our little treat. Um, what I did is I started with a piece of cardstock. This is Tangerine Tango, and the Tangerine Tango is four and three quarters by four and a quarter. So you want to go to your Simply Scored, and you want to lay the four and three quarters width across the top, and you want to do some scoring. So we're going to start with uh, scoring at two inches, and then again at two and three quarters. And you can see that forms that middle part of our box. Now we're going to rotate it so that the four and a quarter distance is across the top of our Simply Scored, and then we're going to score at three quarters of an inch and three and a half inches. So there, hold it up so you can see, there are your scoring marks. And we're just going to cut here, 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 and here and put our box together with sticky strip. So once we have that, we'll be attaching the box inside the two pumpkins that have been embossed and that's going to form your pumpkin so then we're ready to do our kitty um, the leaves I made with the um, autumn accent um, big shot die and then I embossed them with the wood grain embossing folder to get kind of a green uh, leaf texture on there the handle is the burlap ribbon from the holiday catalog and again I just use sticky strip to attach that. Um, so let's talk about the kitty. This is punch art which is a lot of fun um, and so let me show you the different punches that I made that I used um, to make the kitty. I was inspired by a cat that was done by Georgianne Ma Manning, another demonstrator. And so what I did is I used for the head um, you'll see I did the wide oval um, in basic black cardstock and I actually punched out two of those um, because I like to cover up on the back side uh, where the, the ears were so uh, just so it looks nice on both sides. So for the ears I used the bird punch and I used the wing um, and so I punched out two wings in black and two wings in pink pirouette and then I just layered them to get that uh, ear look. So you can see where that came from. Um, the eyes and the nose actually came from mostly the cupcake punch. The sprinkles formed the eyes and the candle flame was the nose. Um, on the eyes what I did is I actually used my owl punch now if you don't have the owl punch you could certainly um, use a black marker to make the black pupils but what I did is I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I went and I punched you get some bonus punches there but what I'm after are those two circles and then I went back in with the cupcake sprinkles and these actually just fit you can see that 
so that you get the two eyes. I'll hold it down here so I don't they don't go uh, missing. And so that gives me the pupils just out of that white piece. Um, so that's how I made the eyes. And then for the whiskers and the mouth and then the marks on the paw. By the way, the paw is the small oval punch. Um, but I made the lines using the chalk marker that's in the holiday catalog. You could also use the white gel pen if you prefer. And then our trick-or-treat over here is from the Best of Halloween stamp set, which is part of the Best of 25 Years. And I just made it a little sign using the Modern Label Punch and a little piece of um, crumb cake cardstock. And that is all there is to our cute little pumpkin kitty. So hope you have some fun uh, making some cute things to give away for the Halloween holidays coming up soon. Thanks for joining me.